It's time. It's time to get started on this, and it looks amazing. I've actually had the frame powder coated now for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. But I was waiting on the decals. Um, and now they've arrived. They've arrived and they've been fitted. And they look amazing. That was a pretty terrible pan. But these decals look amazing. They've been awesome to fit. Um, I'll have to put a little thing in because I did film it fitting them. Um, but these have come from the States, from the US. I was waiting for a company in the UK to email me back, but I tried several times to get in contact with them and they either aren't in business anymore or they've been ignoring me. Um, so I had to go for these. They were about £30 off eBay um, and they're actually scheduled to get here like in a couple of days, in a few, in a week or two, <laughs> but they got here now, so they're fitted. I can start assembling, and you can see the video of the finished item. And um, the originals were sort of a green and a blue combo. These are obviously pink and yellow, but they'll go go with the frame bag that I've got. Um, and they're actually after the rock up comp, but they're very close to what there was on here originally. Uh, so, they look great. Powder coatings are going quite well. Uh, there's a little couple of sections that I'm not happy with. There's a little chip on the top uh, which I need to touch up. And there's just a little bubbling on the seat tube. But apart from that, everything is cleaned down. Everything is spotless. Um, got a new seat post for it, which is all in and greased up now. And um, we are pretty much ready to start assembling everything. First is going to be the uh, the headset. Yeah, let's go.
Okay, talkie talkie. Um, so when it comes to the wheels, I mean, you've seen me do the front hub already. That was original. I've um, I've just stuck some temporary tyres on there for now because I want some. Schwalb nubbly nicks with the uh, skin wall on them, um, but these are just temporary enough for now. Um, good condition roller tyres, they're just all black. I want the uh, skin wall. With the rims themselves, I am swapping out the one that came with the bike on the rear. It was a rigida rim and it was very worn. Like The braking surface did have a big lip in it. So I've taken this area um, and this one matches the front to a degree, it's the same make, same kind of Shimano hub um, but it's all silver rather than black. Uh, only problem is it's a bolted axle so I am, I've bought a new axle and I'm going to change it out to a quick release. Touch what it should work. Touch wood. So let's get going. Okay, we're almost there now. Almost there. Just got pedals to do, got these brakes to sort out, and then all the cables, and well, that's it. Yeah, that's it. But with these brakes, um, they're meant to have these hoods on that sit over there like that. These are the adjusters that came with it, which if you check, will sit there, but that's got to sit there, and uh, well, you can see the difference. That is not going to go all the way in there because it's only the top section here that will go in. So I've had to buy some different ones. Um, then what they're meant to be is something like this. It's meant to have like a almost a bolt fitting on the end, which sits in there nicely there. So what I'm going to try and do is just take this section off the metal and hopefully this end section will fit in because the two combined should work. Hopefully. Section I need. Section I need. That would have come on there. 
that would have gone in there. You might notice a difference, a slight difference from the camera. Maybe, I'm not sure. But this one off the bike is a, is an M7 by 1-0 pitch. The new one is an M6 by 1-0 pitch. M7 is a really weird size and um, I don't have that tap. That, yeah, that tap. Um, I have an M6 one that I pulled out which goes straight through there and cleans it up. But I need an M7. So these fit. These fit in the bike. Those fit in the bike. That doesn't fit. So I'm gonna have to get an M7 by one mil pitch, possibly. Um, if I want, if I want to make these adjustments, I don't have to because that's the rubber seal. You just push that up into there, and it fits on the bike just fine. I'll show you in a second. So it's got to go over the brake reach adjustment screw. Um, obviously I'm not going to have any cable adjustment running it like this. But it means I actually get to use the right seals. Uh, can you even see, you can't see that anymore. But it's gone over the top of the adjustment screw. It's gone all the way in, it's fitting on nicely, and if I just come to the other one, if you have a look in there, you can see just where, oh god, come on, come on focus. Mm. It's not going to focus because it's too close, but you can see where the sort of original part sticks out, which is where the this big end that it came with would not go on. So that will do until I can get an M7 by 1mm tap, and then I can just thread the, or even a nut, just get a nut to on the end. But that will hold the brake cable in the housing for now. And it will keep the cover on, which wasn't on there before. So yeah, let's uh, do the pedals and then start running some cables.
think that's it. I think that's done. I think that's actually done. Okay, let's get it aside. And there we go. Done. Can't believe how good it looks. It looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with it. I mean, what I bought the bike for. Well, I gave the guy 20 quid. I only showed him like 10, 12, something like that, but I gave him 20. Um, and yeah, I had a massive fight with the seat post, but it's so worth it now. It looks so good. I think it will look even better once I get the uh, Schwab Nubbly Nicks on in the skin wall. But it looks so good. Everything's cleaned up so well. But there is there is one more thing that I need to add to it. Um, but we'll probably do that at the end. We'll have a, we'll have a closer look. So we've got the replacement saddle. Old one was had no skin on it. The, the foam's still good, but there's no skin. And we've got a replacement seat post. 26.4 seems to be all right. I've also got a just a replacement seat pin on there. The um, quick release. The original one is just too rusty to just go back on. If anyone's feeling kind and uh, wants to buy me the one on eBay at the moment, the original, then uh, please go ahead. But no. Uh, um, I am looking at getting the original one as soon as I can, but it's um, it's a six mil, so the normal big chunky replacements that you can get for these old bikes they are an eight mil, and um, I've got this cable holder on the back which needs to work with a six mil. I am beyond happy with these decals; they look so good. Just all the colours just pop against each other. It's so nice. Um, the colour of the frame is a. I'll have to check. Um, it's almost. It's it's actually a kind of pearlescent colour. Um, it's silver something. If anyone did want to replicate this colour, um, I know I'll probably put it on the screen. But um, yeah, that silver, freshly powder coated, with the uh, these pink and yellow decals look amazing, um, and the. These decals, recommend them. Company on eBay, I'll also link them. Um, if anyone does want to get them, because they've got quite a few, quite a good stock. Uh, and yeah, they're really easy to put on. Went on well, no wear bubbles in them. And uh, they look great. So I've got the original um, group set on there still. It all cleaned up real well. Uh, just cantilever brakes. I have put on a Avid the, the brake bridges now, the all-in-one kind of things. Um, I just like them better than the old style. And I couldn't find any Shimano ones in my stock, so it's got an Avid one on there. But I changed the patch for some Clarks. Uh, triple compound. Uh, I always find they brake a bit better, and the canties need good braking. But they've adjusted well, cleaned up well. Happy with them. On the back here we've got the Mountain LX derailleur, again cleaned up beautifully. We have a SRAM PC830 chain, um, a Shimano HG41 cassette, 7 speed, um, and is that on the shaft? Yeah, kind of. I found this like little shark fin chain stay protector, so that's going on. Um, we also changed the rim on the rear to kind of match the front because it had a replacement rim um, and change that replacement to quick release uh, and it looks great I think if it had had the black rim still it would have looked slightly off so one yeah oh and also I changed a good few spokes in the wheels because they were rusted you'll probably notice the ones that are shinier like there and there and there um, but there were some that were just completely rusted all along and didn't clean up so they got replaced and the wheels got trued up before they went on on the front mountain LX derailleur clean free 
nicely working crank set mounted LX. Um, I completely pulled that apart and cleaned it, everything individually. It's got the Biopace 48-38-28 on there. Um, and obviously with the Biopace you've got to remember that at this point the derailleur looks too high. But when it's at its top point, that's when you need to align it up there and it will clear it. So that should be good. Um, bring the pedal back round. We've got the MKS G800, 8000s on there, um, which I've cleaned up, serviced and put new straps on. Uh, I've been using the straps recently on the Diamondback as well and they've been, been quite nice to use. Um, so they're staying on. I don't think they were quite made for the straps because they've had to be route, routed in a different way. But they work. And they're original to the bike, they were on the in the brochure, so all original. On the front we just serviced it. Um, it was all good spinning well. It's got a, just a black tire on because I think it had a black and grey on there, so the black matches. Um, and yeah, a couple of spokes changed, runs well. Starting to get the business end of things. We've got the town shed set, um, original to the bike. The, my Peugeot I did as well had, had this style of headset. There is a huh, a spot of rust just on the front, which I should have checked before I put it in because I would have put it on the back then. So I'm just going to touch that up. Um, the bearings inside, real clean on that. Again, really nice decal on the front. And seeing as the cables in the picture, all the cables on this bike are now with lubricated outers. They're all five mil all the way around so the um, gears will have a bit more room to move and they'll be a bit easier um, all the internal cables are teflon coated so everything should be running smooth for quite a while and up top in the cockpit we've got the original brake levers the original gear shifters um, kind of repair the situation that was with these hoods that's now sorted there on uh, got new grips got new bars uh, but kept the original stem um, haven't repainted it because it looks okay uh, and I've just replaced one of the bolts on the front because it was rusted and that is stainless so they look good it's a bit of a long reach I found so when I'm on the bike I'm leaning forward quite a bit, but I'm really happy with how everything's turned out. Really happy. So there we go, build done. Uh, but yeah, like I said, there is one more thing to add. Cosmic Trail foam bag. Do you reckon it suits it? Is it a keeper? Or shall I leave it off? It doesn't quite match. I'd love it if it matched the decals, but yeah. I am so happy with this build. So happy. Oh, it looks so good. So there we go, all done. Showing you around. Anything left to do now is just go and ride it. And uh, so I'll probably grab this, grab someone else, and uh, take out one of the other bikes, the Diamondbacks or something, and uh, go for a ride somewhere, film it, and uh, fill you in later. But yeah, thanks for uh, joining me along with this build. It's been a nice little project. I mean, there's a hundred, two hundred pounds into it now, but it's worth it. It's worth every penny of it. It looks amazing. So happy with it. So this is staying in my collection now. Um, on to the next project. I do have two mountain bikes, 
stashed away, wait to be built. So um, keep an eye out for them. If you enjoyed this project, the project, if you enjoyed the results, you love this little build as much as I do, then hit the thumbs up, leave a little comment. Uh, even if you didn't like it, like leave a little comment as well, saying where you think improvements could have been made. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this little journey. I'm going to head out and ride this now, so uh, I'll catch you in the next video.